Hey there, hunters. Welcome back to the Gunner's Guild. It's been a few years since that I've made world content, but thanks to Peppo for giving me an itch to scratch, I now want to go back and play base Monster Hunter World, which turns out is possible. Prior to World, it's been pretty easy to play older Monster Hunter titles since games like Try and 3U or Gen and GU are all their own games. But Monster Hunter World moved and updated into Iceborne, and then the only way to go back and play base world was either have a physical copy on the console and keep the console offline, because I don't believe the PC actually had a physical edition, could be wrong about that though. And then the same goes for Rise and Sunbreak though. So naturally, you're going to have to do some finagling to get base world playable again on PC. So here on Steam on the PC, I'm going to show you how to set up base world so that that can be experienced again in all of its non-clutch claw glory. So to start, we gotta go to Steam and go ahead and install Monster Hunter World, just so it's there and says it's installed. I don't actually don't think that's required, but I'm sure you have it anyway, but this way you can actually just hit start from Steam. Next, we need to get to the Steam console so we can input the console commands. Now to open up this, go to run, which is just, you know, on Windows, you hit Windows R or just type in run in the Windows search bar, it's run, you'll figure it out. But from there, you need to type in steam colon slash slash open console. I'm just going to put it in the description so you can copy and paste. But this is going to open up the console tab at Steam over here at the top. So you can now go over there and it's just going to have this blank console window. It's just going to show everything that you do on Steam. But keep that open. Next, we have to go get the Steam ID information for World. So you can go online to steamdb.info, which is going to be linked in below as well. And this will allow you to look up the Steam ID and patch information for any game on Steam. So this whole setup is going to work for any game, not just Monster Hunter World, but we're doing Monster Hunter World because I like Monster Hunter World. So anyway, go here and at the top, put in your game of choice into the search bar. So we're putting a Monster Hunter World. Then you're going to have to verify you're not a beep boop and you'll be brought to all the Monster Hunter World information. So come down here to the top of the list where it says Monster Hunter World and go ahead and click on that. And then here at the top, you see the app ID for World, which is 582010. If you've done any modding or save manipulation, you're going to be familiar with that ID. Now write that down on a notepad because you're going to need that in a second. Now down in the middle of the screen, there's the depots. Click on the depots and it'll bring up a new section here. And there's going to be two little sections with large file sizes. The top is the actual base game files with the depot ID of 582011. And the one below that is the HD texture pack, which we don't even care for right now. We just want the base game files. So again, write down the depot ID of the game and then click on that depot ID. Now on the left hand side of the screen here, you're going to see where it says manifests. Click on the manifest section. And then there's going to be all these patches for base worlds and their date. It does make it a lot easier to find what patch version you want based upon the date and the patch notes for worlds. So you can go and find that. But for me, I want the patch up to the end of base world. And I know December 5th of 2019, that update contained the Defender gear right before Iceborne launched. So I want the patch right before then because I don't want Defender gear. So October 29th, 2019 is what I'm going to grab. Also, just to know, if you don't see more than like 10 or so manifests, you're going to need to log into Steam to show the rest. So just make sure you're logged in. Anyway, go ahead and copy the manifest ID there next to the date, which there's this long ass number. It's just like 389326 blah, 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 blah. Anyway, that's also going in the description. So these three numbers, go to the console section of Steam again and type in download underscore depot, then your app ID, depot ID, and manifest ID in that order. So base world is going to look like this. Download Depot 582010, 582011, and then 3893 bajillion numbers. And then go ahead and press enter, and it should start downloading. You won't see like progress meter or anything like that, just let it go until it says it's done. It'll be done in a little bit depending on your speeds, but you might have some weird connection errors and stuff like that, but it'll work fine, just trust me. Once that's done downloading, you're going to need to then grab these files and then overwrite your current world files. So go to Steam, Steam Apps, Content, App. 58010 depot 58011 and then in there it's just gonna be all your downloaded files so go ahead and just hit copy on all these and then go back to steam steam apps common monster hunter world and delete all the shit out of this folder and paste in the copied files from the depot folder and that's pretty much all you have to do now to prevent world from updating make sure you go to steam and right click world and select properties then go to updates and then change it so it's only updating when you launch the game you can't turn off updates entirely, unfortunately, but you can just cancel the update every time you launch the game. You can also launch the game in offline mode on Steam, and it won't update that way either. Also, make sure you go to like the Monster Hunter World executable and set that to run as administrator. And then you pretty much should be good to go play Base World, and the process will work for pretty much any game and any update on Steam. 
And this also does work with multiplayer, so anyone that's running the same patch version as you will be able to play with you as well, so you can coordinate with your friends. Um, but yeah, have fun, thanks for watching, and good luck out there, hunters.